Okay, welcome. Welcome to see that how we can change this uh, VVT engine's uh, uh, belt. What is this belt? What uh, rotates this uh, alternator and also water pump. And there is idea idea that there is automatically ticked system, and we need to open only one bolt in in just just uh, over in there where I moved in that bolt and there is a and when we have loosened this bolt then we can then we can take this belt away and it's it's quite interesting interesting system okay and uh, then, then you need to loosen it, that uh, bolt, that bolt enough, this one, because uh, when when it's it's loosen, you, you loosen it in that way, and you can see that there is this. Uh, Bolt. There is a little bit distance in there. Then you set up your tool to new, new bolt in in here, in that bolt, and and for that that bolt you need need new tool. What is 19 19 millimeter socket? And you set up that tool in that that way. Sorry, not not in in that way. I mean that in in this way. Okay, now it's in right position. And then there is the trick. The trick is that that when you take when you move that friends in that direction then this belts loosen and you can take it away okay and now I move that in this direction and, and quite a little bit better maybe in that position and now you can see that this is loosened and I can take this away and and then, before of that, I recommend that you look really carefully that what is this belts, this rotation and places, because uh, this uh, this belt goes in in different places, and uh, and it's it good to set up in same way. When we have taken this belt away, Okay, and here is a little bit more this picture and uh, and when 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 I I move that my my tool then I take in the same time I take this uh, This uh, belt away. Okay, and now now I take this this hand hand in here, and I, I move that little bit more. Okay, now, and, and then I, I I lift I, that way, and then I take this belt away. 
in, and then then we can check this belt belt situation. Okay, and now we have this belt in here, and it's it good to to analyze that that is this belt enough good or should I replace this? And the best way is to analyze these these areas. That is there any any holes or scratch or something damaged and. And when you when you bend and twist this, I think that this belt is very good condition, and and we don't need to set up or change new belt. But if you notice any any holes or something damage in here, then I recommend to change new belt. And and of course, it could change if you think. If you think, I think I estimate that something like every fifty thousand, fifty thousand kilometer or forty thousand miles, it could. But uh, or what or what manufacturer recommend? And and now, then we install this back, and there is important that that here are those holes that I take a little bit accurate picture that you set up this belt these holes directly in in that way all places okay and now I set up this belt back and the idea is that, that you you start start in in here and uh, and this this goes in that way Okay, and I, I rotate this little bit in in here, and, uh, and and there is quite soon when I have finished that we can check what is the result. Okay, okay, and then okay, and then we have the final part, and we should to install this belt back in this alternator, and and how it happens firstly. We leave this this uh, this uh, system. I, I I pull that, and I have to pull quite hard because this moves quite so slowly. And, and then when I small pull, now now it's it's back. And then then we check that that everything is first in that position. And, and this is okay. And then we check this uh, this uh, down area that there is there is this belt is in okay and okay good. And then final area is to check that is this water pump also installed right. And I think that this belt is now now okay. And then. Then I need to take then this bolt bolt in in there that and then we can do this motor start. Okay, and then I need to take then this this uh, lock bolt. What is in here? And this is the final step. And I tick this. And by the way, this uh, this VTT engine's uh, belt, the belt tick then system is automatic. That is, it automatically tick then tick then this uh, belt. And, uh, and 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 there is this uh, this uh, system is over in in here. This uh, you you can see maybe now you can see that there is this this system it is just in here this this system is this automatically 
tick den system. Okay, and now I thicken this bolt. Okay, and when, when this bolt is thick, then, then we start the engine. The belt is running nicely, there is no any sound, and uh, it, it ru runs very smoothly, and our change has been su successful. And, uh, and when we made this motor test, everything works well, and there was no any sound, or any any different sounds and then you can do also the final check that you rotate this belt and if this rotate quite easily about 45 to 90 degrees then this belt thickness is okay because there is automatically system and now now I think that this is uh, very fine okay and thank you